here today with Aaliyah LeBlanc, who's the owner of the title team in Londonderry. How are you? Great. How are you? Good, good. So we were talking about titles and we have some more information for you. So one question that brings out a lot of questions is yeah. what do buyers and sellers usually ask you? What are common questions? They Absolutely. Ask? So honestly, I would say the number one thing that people ask us, um, which obviously is super important, specifically on the buyer side is hey, what do I have to bring to the closing? Meaning how much money do I have to bring as a part of the purchase? We are the, the company that issues that information to the buyers. So obviously with them knowing that, they're always asking the questions. So sadly, we are at the mercy of a lot of different things of happening before we have the true answer to that question. But usually what it is, is the lenders, when it's a mortgage finance transaction, send us what's called closing instructions. We do what's called balancing a CD, entering all the numbers in, and they basically give us the okay to say, this is good, you can issue that number. So sometimes um, in these processes, and it's super important that you work with a good mortgage lender that's really, really- So um, important. So important. Really um, communicative is, you know, we don't want you to be scrambling around. You have to get a certified bank check. You have to send a wire. So again, having somebody that kind of does those things a little bit more in advance than like, hours before the closing is important because we're at the mercy of them giving us those final numbers. So I'd say that's one of the biggest ones that we see. Um, another question that we get a lot is when buyers take title on a property, which means how they're going to structure their deed. Mm, yeah. They always ask me like, what do I do? You know, there's, we send out a questionnaire to gather information about the property and what the buyers want. And for married couples, um, this is something that we tell everybody all the time. When there's two people purchasing a property and you're married, the tenancy aspect on the deed, um, typically what we see most common is what's called joint tenants with rights to survivorship. So what that means is if you own a property with your spouse and if heaven forbid something happens, meaning one of the spouse passes away, the interest in the property automatically reverts to the other surviving person and having, and it avoids probate court. Right. So that is huge because what we see sometimes is if a deed does not have tenancy, it reverts to what's called tenants in common, which means that again, if a spouse passes away, their interest has to pass through the probate process before they can sell their property. So again, super, super important, small thing. Um, and again, that's a huge question we get all the time. And sometimes, you know, it's good to talk to an attorney about that. Not sometimes it's not a married couple. Sometimes it's, uh, you know, just two investors, a brother and sister. LLCs, and you, absolutely. Exactly. Trust entities, absolutely. And you might want to do it differently. So there's reasons why you would or wouldn't. Um, we probably have a minute left. I'm just curious. Yeah. So title insurance. Yeah. Sometimes people are like, why do I need this? 100%. So honestly, guys, just like any type of insurance policy, you don't need it until, you know, you don't need homeowner's insurance until your house burns down and then you're really happy to have it. So title insurance basically protects the owner from any problems on their title that were unforeseen at the time of a closing. So a horror example of something where somebody would utilize title insurance, um, this is the example I use all the time. A uh, couple is selling their property. There was a prior owner mortgage that was never paid off and it kind of like fall fell through the cracks because it was from like 45 years ago. Um, those people were foreclosed on because they did not pay off that mortgage and basically they lost their house. Had they had a title insurance policy, their title insurance basically would have allowed them to cover the fact that that had been missed on a closing in the past and allows them to sell their property. The title insurance company goes and works on their behalf to correct the problems. And again, we're typically talking about something that costs a couple hundred dollars and literally can save you from something that's three hundred thousand dollar mistake or mishap um so again just like any insurance policy you don't want to use it but when you have it you are super grateful that you do absolutely and so the way that works is you have owner's title insurance and then you have your lender's title insurance so they're each covering the equity position that each person has yes and we've you know in all my years uh only once uh, but we actually had somebody come up to a door with a like a really old 1800s handwritten um, easement to cross their property. And we had to go back to title insurance and they handled everything, everything. to take care of it. And it doesn't mean that even if legitimately that person's uh, document was real, they didn't have to leave their house. The insurance company handled taking care of it. So yeah. if you have more questions about title insurance and or going to have a closing, 
you can contact the title team and of course Aaliyah. And what's the best way to reach you? Honestly, guys, we have a general email that comes directly to me. The best email for that is orders at title team NH as a New Hampshire.com. And you can always call us, uh, check us out on Google, just Google the title team New Hampshire. And again, we have two offices, Londonderry and Meredith, New Hampshire, up at the Lakes region. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank I think you. everybody probably loved this. We'll see you again. Thank you.